When managing supply chains in the recession, there are two key things we need to consider. First of all, cash is king. And the second issue is service is sacred. So let's actually just discuss each of those elements. The first thing we need to think about is the whole issue of cash to cash cycle and how the supply chain influences this. Now, when we think about measuring the cash to cash cycle, because this is often a measure which is actually done in standard sets of accounts, it's days of inventory plus the time to get payment from your customers minus time to pay your suppliers. So when we start to actually think about the cash to cash cycle, it is all about time. What we have to do, therefore, from a supply chain perspective is understand the time dimension of our total cash to cash cycle. Now, that includes, of course, the procurement processes where we're actually buying stuff from suppliers, having them manufacture it. It's then being moved through the supply chain, perhaps to our facilities and then through to the retail environment or even another business. So we need to understand in detail where time goes in that total process. So let's just move briefly on to the final key issue then is service is sacred. We have to use the supply chain to en enhance the service that we're offering to customers. Now the point is the supply chain does this. This is really the key interface that, that serves the customer to some degree. You know we've got to make sure we've got the product, the service out there and they're able to use this. Don't when you're under pressure, start cutting back on the things that you want to do in, a, in, in order to serve the customer. You may, through your cost to serve analysis, find out that you're over serving some customers, in which case you can rearrange the service to those people. But there may be other customers you're under serving, and those can often be the ones which could be bringing you the most profits. So do review all that. Do maintain your service levels and ensure that you can really move things towards a real future outcome for, for service within that. Just remember, the supply chain gains you competitive advantage through service.